Hello everyone, now let us discuss about mock questions from Anatomy of Urinary System Part 1. Coming to the first question, the branch of medicine which deals with the scientific study of anatomy, physiology and pathology of kidneys is called nephrology. So, nephrology is the branch of medicine that deals with the scientific study of anatomy, physiology and pathology of the kidneys. The branch of medicine that deals with the male and female urinary system and male reproductive system is called. It deals with both female and male urinary system and the male reproductive system also. It is called urology. Option A is the correct answer. Urology is the branch of medicine that deals with the male and female urinary systems and the male reproductive system. Next question. The anatomical location through which ureter emerges from the kidney along with the blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and nerves is called renal helium. Renal helium is the anatomical location through which the ureter, this is ureter and these are the blood vessels, renal helium. This area is called as renal helium. Renal helium is the anatomical location through which the ureter emerges from the kidneys along with blood vessels, lymphatic vessels and nerves. Next question, the superficial light thread. The superficial light thread region of kidney is called as renal cortex. The outer region, internally kidney is divided into renal cortex and renal medulla. The inner region is called as renal medulla. It is indicated by dark red color. Whereas the outer region, the superficial light red region of kidney is called as renal cortex. Option B is the correct answer. Now coming to next question. The inner deep dark red region of kidney is called as renal medulla. The inner deep dark red region of kidney is called as renal medulla. Here you can see this is the dark red region. It is called as renal medulla. This area is called as renal medulla whereas the outer region is called as renal cortex and this region is called as renal helium. Next question the functional unit of kidney is called as nephron. Nephron are the functional units of kidney. Here you can see this is the location of nephron. It is partly located in renal cortex and renal medulla. The functional unit of kidney is called as nephron. Next question, which anatomical position is not a part of nephron? In the following options, which anatomical position is not a part of nephron? Here you can see this is the complete diagrammatic representation of components of nephron. Nephrons are the functional units of kidney and each nephron consists of two parts. Each nephron consists of two parts, a renal corpuscule. Renal corpuscule. This is the renal corpuscule. It is made up of glomerular and glomerular capsule. The next is renal tubule. The entire area from here to here is called as renal tubule. So renal corpuscule is a part of nephron. Renal tubule is a part of nephron and glomerulus is also part of a nephron. Renal cortex is the anatomical position that is not a part of nephron. And renal corpuscule is the place where blood plasma is filtered. And renal tubule is the place into which the filtered fluid, which is nothing but glomerular filtrate, passes. So, nephron is made up of renal corpuscule and renal tubule. Coming to next question, the drainage tube that transports the stored urine from the body is called as urethra. Urethra is the drainage tube that stores that transports the stored urine from urinary bladder from the body. Next, transport tubes that move the urine from kidneys to urinary bladder are called as ureters. So, ureters. Here you can see this is the kidney and this tube which is coming out of the kidney is the ureter. Right ureter and this one is the left ureter. Ureters are the transport tubes that move urine from kidneys into the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. Next, 
the storage organ that temporarily stores the urine until convenient to discharge from the body is called as urinary bladder urinary bladder is the temporary storage organ is the storage organ that temporarily stores the urine next question what is nephroptosis nephroptosis is nothing but an inferior displacement or drooping of the kidney an inferior displacement or drooping of the kidney nephroptosis optosis means stopsis means falling or floating kidney nephroptosis is also called as floating kidney it is an inferior displacement or drooping of the kidney it occurs when the kidney strip slips from its normal position because it is not securely held in place by adjacent organs or its covering of fat nephroptosis develop mostly often in very thin people whose adipose capsule or renal fascia is deficient what is gfr gfr is nothing but glomerular filtration rate gfr is glomerular filtration rate the amount of filtrate formed in all renal corpuscles of both kidneys each minute the amount of filtrate formed in all renal corpuscles of both kidneys each minute is called as glomerular filtration rate in adult the gfr averages 125 ml per minute in males and 105 ml per minute in females what is glucose urea glucose in urine is nothing but glucose urea when the blood concentration of glucose is above 200 mg per ml the renal sympotes cannot work fast enough to reabsorb all the glucose that enters the glomerular filtrate as a result some glucose remains in the urine and this condition is called as glucose urea the most common cause of glucose urea is diabetes mellitus in which the blood glucose levels may rise far above the normal because of insulin inactivity or insulin activity deficiency deficit the excessive glucose in the glomerular filtrate inhibits water reabsorption by kidney tubules and this leads to increased urinary output which is nothing but polyuria decreased blood volume and dehydration which are some of the symptoms of diabetes mellitus what is hematuria red blood cells in urine hem he means blood hematuria is nothing but blood in urine or red blood cells in urine the presence of red blood cells in urine is called as hematuria generally indicates pathological condition one cause is acute inflammation of urinary organs or due to a disease or irritation from kidney stones other causes are tumors trauma kidney disease contamination of sample by menstrual blood next question what is ketonuria the ketone body presence of ketone bodies in urine is called as ketonuria high levels of ketone bodies in urine is nothing but ketonuria it may indicate diabetes mellitus anorexia starvation or too little carbohydrate in diet what is urobilaginogenuria it is nothing but presence of urobilaginogen which is a breakdown product of hemoglobin in urine trace amounts are normal but elevated urobilaginogen in urine may be due to hemolytic or pernicious anemia infectious hepatitis biliary obstruction jaundice cirrhosis congestive heart failure or infectious mononucleosis these are some of the causes of that condition that is nothing but presence of urobilaginogen in the urine urobilaginogen is nothing but a breakdown product of hemoglobin thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and cpc training